Yeah, no, I, I agree with you 100 percent on this. Listen up, guys, because this is important. In fact, every single one of my, my when I do a coaching call with one, one of my new coaching clients, they always have some problem. Right. And the yeah. very first thing I tell them is there's nothing fucking wrong with you. There's nothing. Yeah. Wh whatever it is. Where, oh, I'm scared to talk to girls. I have social anxiety. I have, I'm, I'm super nervous. Whatever it is. Oh, I'm super depressed. Oh, you know, whatever the problem is. Oh, I have ADHD. Nope. There's nothing fucking wrong with you. Agreed. You're perfectly normal. That's that's exactly because everyone has to deal with their shit. And it's it's just a question of whether you've dealt with your shit or not. And most guys have not dealt with their shit. And once you deal with your shit, I mean, we all have different shit to deal with. But but there's not it's, it's the natural state of humans to to be uh, to be fucked up. Like we're all of fucked course. up. Of course. And life ain't fucking easy. You know, the problem is we've we've given names to everything. And when you give everything a name, people buy into it faster. Yep. Yeah. So like I remember a very quick story. I was I was fighting when I was still fighting pro, my number one gym mate, he was like another guy who was fighting UFC. I was fighting kickboxing. And he was at the same time as training, he would train for me for about five years. And when you're training pro, you always pick up injuries. If things hurt all the time, sparring, training, whatever. Fights, you don't have time to heal before your next fight. Things hurt. Anyway, he was training to become an osteopath as, at the same time. Once he became an osteopath, he was constantly out with injury. And I was like, why are you always out with injuries? Like, oh, I've damaged my rotator cuff or I've damaged my second ligament in my knee. I was like, bro, before you knew the names of all this right. little iggling pains, you used to just train and yeah. you used to ignore it like I do. Now you know exactly what it is and you've given it a name and you've looked it up. Now you're being a bitch about it. Can't yep. you just go back to thinking my knee hurts a bit? I'll kick with the other leg. Because that's what I do. And that's what you used to do. And it's exactly the same with these mental illnesses. I feel this way. Oh, that's because you have this, 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 this. Then they go on Google and look it up. Da, 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 da. Sh shut up. Shut up. The world doesn't care how you feel anyway. So like the world doesn't give a shit. You're either a winner or a loser. You're either gonna, you're either gonna push to succeed or you're not. We live in a world based on action. It's binary. It's yes or no. You're either gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. I, I, like people, are, when I tell people this, they're like, you don't understand. It's like, I do understand. I just don't care. Exactly. Yeah. There's a difference. I understand you feel sad, but me <laughs> and everyone else alive doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, so I think you're push forward or you're not. And that, I think that's one of the most important lessons in life is that nobody gives a fuck, right? It's like no, no and you know, I tell guys all this all the time. It's like nobody gives a fuck. It doesn't matter. Like people will pretend to give a fuck, but no one actually gives a fuck about you, right? They they care about themselves. They got too much fucking problems to deal with on their own. And so, like, if you think someone's going to come to save you or so someone's going to come and help you in some way, you're full of shit. You're on your own. You're you're dropped off in this fucking world with yep. just you and you got to rely on yourself. And if you think that someone else is going to come and help you or save you or make things feel better for you, you're full of shit. It, it's yep. bullshit. You, the quicker you learn that fucking lesson that you're on your own, the better off you're going to be as a man. Because then you start solving your fucking problems instead of thinking that someday they'll go away or someone else will come and alleviate the pain from you. And that's like so much of the of the pussification of men is is based on that. Is they, they're not they don't know that it's time to fucking stand up because they don't yep. realize they're alone. Well, exactly. And this is the thing, like nobody's going to wake up and, and, and look at bulldog mindset and go, you know what? That John guy, he's a good guy. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to dedicate my day to getting John a Ferrari. Right. Like it's not going to happen. If you want a Ferrari, you got to make a Ferrari. If I want a Ferrari, I got to get a Ferrari. Anyone who wants a Ferrari has to go get it. This is just, this is a simple truth of earth, especially being a man. And this is kind of one of those things I've noticed. There's a really weird phenomenon happening, but I've noticed lots of men starting to kind of complain and bitch about how easy females have it or women get it easy. Oh, yeah. Women have, and yeah, women do have it easy. But what, you're jealous of chicks now? Right. Like, I would, I would, like, that's how big of a bitch you are. You're jealous of a chick? Like, I think being a female would be a disaster. Yeah. yeah, okay, if you're a beautiful female, thank you. If you're a beautiful female, you get some advantages in life. Of course you do, because beauty is a currency. But the idea of actually living life as a female, there's no conquest. There's no, mm -hmm. there's nothing. I mean, what do you really do? You, you get a guy, you love your guy. Maybe you get some nice meals, you buy a handbag, you get pregnant at the end. There's no conquest. There's no, there's yeah. no domination. So being a female would suck, but you're sitting here jealous because a female gets to ride in a nice car and you can't buy one. You're a fucking punk. You're a punk, Plus, man. Yeah. And, and this the, is the yeah. truth about it. Puts a span. Like, I think a lot of guys don't understand. They get upset when I talk, when I talk about this, but it's like, imagine what your life would be like if like your whole identity was based on your looks, which is going to be finite for only, you only have this for like maybe five to 10 years max. Every day you got to wake up, you got to put on fucking makeup. Otherwise you look like shit because yeah. there's already a standard of what you look like. And if you're below that, you're going to feel like shit. Your whole identity is wrapped up in that shit. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't want that. Fuck. I like to be able to just be me and and be uh, a, a stud based on who I fucking am instead of instead of what what I look like or or you know, exactly how they, as a man you can build your character. And that's yeah. what's so good. That's what's so good about being a man. As a woman, you're born either with value or without value. A bit of makeup can change it or not. And that's that's basically it. Surgery, whatever, whatever. But as a man, you can build your character from the ground up. You can decide: Do I want to be a hard ass UFC fighter? Do I want to be a rock star? Just like a video game, you can build your character. Who do I want to be? And you can build it from the ground up. And this is what's so amazing: is that every single man is born with this ability, but most of them are too fucking lazy to do it. Exactly. They, they sit there and go, "You know what, Tate, man? You know you, you're fighting and you're driving a Lambo and blah blah." blah. I was like, "Why didn't you fight?" Oh, right. I never had the time. Shut up. You could have fought. You could have been better than me. You Obviously, I'll, I'm being nice when I say this. Of course, they didn't stand a chance in hell, but I'll say it anyway. You might have beaten me. Right. Never, but still. You know, you might, <laughs> you might have beaten me, but you didn't even train. You didn't even try. Exactly. Like, you're going to sit there on your video game and, and level up your character, but you won't level up your real life self. And this is the truth. And people sit there and go, yeah, but it's hard. You wouldn't want it if it wasn't hard. Because if it wasn't hard, everyone would have it and they would have no value. If exactly. everybody had a six pack, you wouldn't want a fucking six pack. This is the this is the beauty of it. People don't understand that the fact it's hard is what makes it beautiful. That's what exactly. makes it good. That's what makes you want it at all. Why is a nice body so coveted? Because people know how hard it is to have a nice body. If we all could just shred like this, it wouldn't mean anything. Yeah. Value and scarcity are linked. They're they're together. So you can't sit and complain about the value of things and then complain it's hard. And this, it's is also, what, yeah. this, this, this is the truth about men. There's a whole generation of men who have been raised without being prepared for war yeah. because that's what life is. It's a war for resource. It's a war for females. It's a war for attention. It's a war for domination. It's war. And as a man, you have to establish yourself in a hierarchy of men. There is a global hierarchy of men. And there are men out there right now who are born with every genetic advantage and they're seven foot two NBA players made of muscle. And that's life. And there's men out there who are five foot five and they're not. But that doesn't make a difference. You still have to find a way to fight and compete. You have right. to do your best with what you've got. That's it. That's the game. Either or you sit there, jerk off, and cry. <laughs>